win the day? It should be fun finding out. The uh, European Cup is 74 centimetres high, oh, big ears, as it's officially known. It is a big trophy. It's the biggest occasion yet. Worldwide television audience of around 160 million. It's swollen by a home market and a very busy black market. When you see Barcelona, well, this is not an under 12s versus under 19s match. Barcelona lineup of two years ago Thierry Henry, Samuel Eto, and Yaya Toure. Five changes in all, Danny Alves and Eden, two of the United starting 11. He's a traveler on the Barcelona bench, but has been nursing a knee in Schalke in Germany. He's been the basis of Sir Alec Ferguson's first choice team since the quarter final when Viola. Ten years ago, when his playing career at Barcelona came to leading scorer in the Champions League. Wembley looking at its best for a meeting of the best of the best. And that is offside. He doesn't usually miss the target, but it wouldn't have mattered on this particular occasion. It's a great spot, you know, spectator to these opening exchanges. Long towards Rooney. Mascherano in trouble. Valdez committed. Only just got there in time. I think we've all wondered, Clive, about Javier Mascherano playing as the centre-half. He'll have his hands full tonight against Rooney and Hernandez. Their movement has been a feature of United's play all season. It's a great ball through towards Hernandez. Oh, there's off limits. Really got away with that and not quite... David Villa has found space for a shot. In towards David Villa. Ferdinand got across, knocked it again. Good tackle, great tackle from Rio Ferdinand. And you're in trouble and you have to be very, very assured. Tipped in towards Pedro! Well, they got in front of Ferdinand, stole into a goal-scoring position, but couldn't convert. Yep. He said that he wouldn't be surprised if he... He's run away from three of them now, made that four, he slipped it into... Bins the wheel. Daniel Alves, halted by Park, Villa. He goes for a goal, it's just why. But Barcelona have both of their full-backs in advanced positions. Villa... On towards Villa, wrestles with Ferdinand, play allowed to go on, Lionel Messi, Xavi, slipped into Villa, it's a good shot, the side just managed to get everything behind it. The second ten minutes, as you can see, are Ferdinand for the most part. Here's Iniesta, slipped into the path of Lionel Messi, terrific challenge. As soon as United have the chance to counter that, he does so. Park, Piquet, his pass was loose and Giggs couldn't fasten on to it and Vieira has found Messi good tackle by Ferdinand he is less than pleased it's in towards Hernandez headed away by this year Barcelona's going quite as the speed Xavi slip through chance for Pedro breakthrough for Barcelona it has been coming Pedro Rodriguez Just United are going to have to come from behind if they're to win the Champions League tonight. It's too easy. Has scored it. Down goes Busquets, caught by Valencia. Rooney trying to silence them. Kicked in towards Giggs, who's onside. And Wayne Rooney! Oh, yes! The best moment yet <laughs> in the mercurial career of Wayne Rooney! Absolutely out of nothing. But again, two or three little good passes. We know Barca like to press. Rooney does great here. Oh, that's very, very tight on Ryan Giggs. I think he's just, just on. Gets away from Rooney. Lionel Messi finds Xavi. Here's Iniesta. Blasted there. And Hassan had slipped in towards Pedro. And Messi. And it was a lunging challenge by Valencia. And got some of the ball that was. A... Xavi plays it into Busquets. Oh, such a good idea. Just beyond Pedro. 
Manchester United didn't see it coming. Oh, Carrick chasing him. Still Lionel Messi. Now David Villa. Now Lionel Messi. And how he failed to connect with it. I'm not altogether sure. Michael Carrick may have had something to do with it. Barcelona have had the clearer chances. They led the game for seven minutes. Manchester United showed some resilience. Rode their luck a little. Manchester United have led for a total of 20 minutes in their three Champions League. Still going, Javier Mascherano. And he's won a corner kick. It's a good run for Mascherano. Just gets let it run. Iniesta will hit it. A bit of confusion. Roll back to Xavi. And that was Vidic who got his considerable fate. Vidic to the rescue once more. And a free kick to Manchester United. Rooney. He's got away from PK. Cross comes Mascherano, came last off. Rooney. As he's tangled the legs, he gets the right side of him, but quite rightly it's boom. Lovely ball from Iniesta. And Alves has got in behind them. Danny oh. Alves comes out as far as Messi. Oh, fabulous. Inevitable. The latest in a long, long line of headline goals from the world's greatest football. He is a phenomenon. For the 53rd time this season, Lionel Messi scores for Barcelona. Well, at the Bernabeu club, I witnessed a brilliant goal from Messi where he bobbed and weaved his way past the dictate any more of this game and allow them to, to come from behind again. Again. Lucky to get it back. Dani Alves has conceded a free kick. And uh, a referee who does have a, a reputation. Iniesta brought down by Carrick, hopelessly missed time. And that'll be a yellow card. Yeah. Chip qualifier against Switzerland, which you can see live pre cup. Iniesta into Messi. Oh, got everything behind that. A little bit, a little hesitantly, but Vidic was a in towards Dani Alves. They've cut Manchester United open. Messi hooked away by Xavi. It's a good save from Van der Sar. Good height. But a uh, good agile dive. But a one-two off Carrick. Now he's found Pedro. Hit by Iniesta. Iniesta. Messi. It's Chavi. Slipped it through to David Villa. All of a sudden just drawing it off. Fabio's been replaced. Nani from Messi again and again. Nani made a challenge. Karaktar is up. Bus gets the Villa. Champion football from Barcelona. David Villa, Spain's leading international goal scorer, scores the most important goal of his club career. And Manchester United need a new cap miracle now. They gave the ball to Barcelona, he'll be furious about that. But you've got to admire the skill. He goes for a curl up. And that was the roof of the net. Yeah. There's a goal kick. Right. Away inside their own penalty area. Rudy going on an individual run, didn't get a free kick. The popular water really. There's only yellow card as well, it makes gigs. Villa got back there. Peels for handball there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Certainly does hit that with Villa's hand. Absolutely, I mean, whether there's any intent. Giggs in towards Hernandez, he's got there ahead of Valdez, who managed to get a fist to the ball. Still Nani! And the shot didn't quite match the run. And Manchester United, you look at those numbers there, they've been on level terms for half of this game. Somehow find a way back into the game. David Cater, the... Uh, the race is... He's been nursing a knee problem since the turn of the... Here's Nani. He trying to squeeze it in. Evra. In towards Hernandez. Just slightly overhead. Iniesta. Oh. He's gone for it first time. Couldn't quite defeat Van der Sar. In towards Hernandez. Headed away by PK. Over Manchester United. He's won the World Cup since. And his fellow countryman gets everything behind it. The cream has come to the top. Barcelona are champions of Europe again.
the best of their era, maybe the best of all. Manchester United had two years to try to crack the code, but favoritism was justified. Nobody's ever retained the champ. And their name is being inscribed on the giant trophy at Colonna. They've drawn level with Real Madrid. Clive has been through this a couple of years ago against this team and had thought long and hard about it. From his liver ten weeks ago, who may just be the man who gets the honour of some of them not even stripped for the substitutes bench tonight. Pedigree champions again. There are Barcelona hands on the here at Wembley again tonight. And Manchester United had no answer to it. As Villa there who had it on his head, a good example of a great individual in El Clasico at the start of the season. Colleen came in and couldn't understand what he was doing. Uh, will be begrudged only possibly in Madrid, I would have thought. Barcelona, worthy winners of the uh, of the champion. There's very few times you come to a football ground and you think it's. We've seen a team as good as anything I've seen yeah. in my life. At the moment, because they have been. It, it, it makes you wonder what what are they going to do next season, Harry? Just just keep on winning. Same again. Same again. Obviously, Real Madrid are going to push them hard again next year. They'll keep looking to improve. That you've got world-class players in Xavi and Iniesta, who you kind of overlook because you, yeah. you're just whatever. But why would you leave this? Yeah. Why would you leave the thing? Like time for a new challenge. I'm going to West Ham. No, but, some... but the thing is, he's got a chance. Then they're talking about he may leave this year. Hasn't he got a bad back? <laughs> <laughs> he might have after that. Yeah. But, like, uh, normally look like that when he's lost, and here. No, he'd be fit. But we've all seen him steaming after a defeat before. It's just not. It's not that he's not that animal tonight.